<laughs> we won! We won! Unbelievable! Rematch? Hey, look over there! An amazing vine! I think we should give it to Tiny Timbo. It looks so stylish wrapped around its trunk. <laughs> Don't you think we should give it to Uncle T? It's perfect for decorating his long neck. Hmm, I don't know. I think Gadara should get it. He can use it to make a fancy necktie. And I bet it'll help him sell more fruit at his fruit stand. You know what, guys? Let's give it to Mama Deg. We can make her a crown since she's the queen of math. So who should we give it to? Okay, so we've got Uncle T, Mama Ntege, Gadara, or Tiny Tembo. Is that everyone? Let's not forget about Kakakobe and Dachura. Oh no, we forgot them. What should we do, guys? Let's have a race to decide. A race? Yeah, I think a race would be a great idea. Come on, guys, let's be more creative. We did a race last year. Creative? How? Let's try something different. How about sack racing? Sack racing sounds fun. Cool, let's go tell the animals. Right guys, listen up. You have to loop around the entire field. And the first one back is the winner. On my whistle. On your marks, get set, go! Nitashinda, kuruka ni rahisi tu. Mimi chura naruka kila siku. This is so easy, it's a piece of cake. But wait, I can't let that little Datura beat me. This is tough, so tough. I'll just roll. Let me roll. <laughs> Let me sing. Roll, roll on my shell all the way to the end. Merry, 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 time to beat my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just fly. That's what wings are for. I'm so clever. <laughs> Watch me win. Oh no! Mom and Dad get no flying. This game is tough for birds. If it were a flying race. The wind. Ah, what is this now? Ah, bounce, 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 bounce. Uh huh. How do I hold it? How do I jump it? How do I do it? I really wanna win it. Watch me now. Uh huh. So watch me now. What a joke! That you're gonna win this anyway. What? You beat me? No way! I want a rematch. Laurel, Laurel, finally! <laughs> what do you mean? So long. What are you trying to say? I'm the third to arrive, right? I'm 
I'm so tired. <sighs> Nearly there. Nearly there. Over the line. <sighs> what are you staring at? You don't like my new outfit. I think I look awesome. Don't you see? <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh at me. I lost the vine, but I got new shorts. So I'm cool. <laughs> Great job! You must be so tired. We sure are. How far did we race? You guys all rest. I'll go and ask Mzekigo how big his field is. Mzekigo said it's an acre and in the shape of a square. Each side is 60 meters long. So, you are telling us we raised an acre? No, no, no! Acres measure area! We didn't run over the whole area inside the field. We raced around the outside of the field, along the perimeter. Perimeter? Kwa kiswahili, tunasema mzingo. Yes, perimeter. Perimeter is the total distance around a shape. Mzingo ni jume ya repu wa mzunguko mzima wa kitu. But how big is Mzekigo's farm? This time, Kibera, you go and ask him. I'm tired. There's no need. All sides of the field are the same length, right? Yeah, 60 meters long. So they ran a total of 60 meters, plus 60 meters, plus 60 meters, plus 60 meters, equals 240 meters! Wow! wow. 240 meters! We're jumping stars! Nimeshinda! 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 Nah, Chura, you hope every day. How do you expect the rest of us to beat you? Look at me. I'm winning this one. <laughs> Let's have another competition. Let's play hopscotch. Hoping again? Damn! Yeah. Okay. 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 I hope this game is more fair to everyone than the last game was. Forgot it. Okay, guys, whoever knows how to draw it, hurry up and do it! Come on, I can't wait to play and win! Looks like today is not gonna be our lucky day, Uncle T. You wait. If we lose, we'll sing. Jumping is so painful. Jumping is so painful. Jumping is so painful. Jumping is so painful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jumping is so painful. It's easy. You draw a bunch of squares and rectangles. Kwaki swaili tunasema mraba na mstatili. Wait, what are squares and rectangles? A square is a shape of four equal straight sides with four right angles. The height and width are all equal. And a rectangle? A rectangle is a shape which has two sides of equal length opposite each other and two other sides of equal length opposite each other. How do we draw hopscotch? We draw it like this. Are rectangles. These are squares. And these are rectangles. Aha! Uh Nam cheso o nita shinda ten. But guys, the girl will win this game as well. Maybe we should change the rules for this game. We have a new rule for this game of hopscotch. You have to make it to the top in the least number of hops. And you must touch down in the middle of each square or rectangle. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four. 
four. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. That's not fair. My heart shell and my stumpy legs aren't made for hopping games. Mimi si jashinda kwa sababu si kuelewa sheria za mchezo huu. Ningeelewa ningeshinda na waambia. Okay, how about another game? Guys, let's play a ball game. Yes, football. I have an idea for a new ball game. You see this piece of string? I'm going to divide it equally between the four of us. So each string will be 12 meters long. And each one of us takes the string and makes it into any shape we want. We put the shapes on the ground. What are the rules for this game? Hold on, Baraka. I'm still explaining. So while we're inside the shape, we volley the ball back and forth. But if you drop the ball or step outside the shape, you'll lose. The winner is the person who is standing in the shape. Yeah. Wow, that, that sounds, sounds like fun. fun. Yeah. Now wait. This game's gonna be difficult for me because I'm so big. Hmm, but I guess it'll be okay if you make a shape that's big enough for me to stand in. Tiny Tembo, this is the Kokoto Olympics. shapes we made and all from strings of the same length that's pretty cool why are you so surprised shape can be completely different but have the same perimeter <laughs> those shapes you've made were from strings that were 12 meters long right Koba? my shape is three meters long and three meters wide it's a square. When I add all four sides together, I get 12 meters. So the perimeter of my square is 12 meters. Mine's a rectangle. It's two meters long and four meters wide. When I add the length of all four sides, I also get 12 meters. The perimeter of my rectangle is 12 meters. Mine's a triangle with four meters on each side. A triangle only has three sides. When I add all three sides, I get a perimeter of 12 meters too. Mine is a thin rectangle. It's one meter high and five meters wide. If I add all four sides together, I get a perimeter of 12 meters. Aha! Uh -huh. so can we play now? Can we play now? Get in and let's play. Dachura, you stepped out of your shape and you're out. I was inside the perimeter of my shape. There is no rule against the flying. It's your turn. Wow, 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 wow. I hope you didn't expect me to get in there. That shape is way too skinny. How am I gonna fit? Sure, you can. You just squeeze your toes together. Are we still competing for the vine? You betcha. You are all winners. 
cut the vine and give everyone a piece each. Then let's all play football instead. How does that sound? That would have been so much easier. But I guess we all had a workout. Guys, you just should have divided the vine earlier. If you had, you wouldn't have learned about perimeter. Perimeter! I had fun playing these games. I learned how to find the perimeter of a rectangle, a square, and a triangle. Wait, was this the Math Olympics? I didn't win any of the games, but it sure was fun participating. I want to know the perimeter of a rectangle. I want to know the perimeter of a triangle. Perimeter is the total distance around the shell, adding all the length of the size of the shell. The Greek word peri, it means... I want to know the perimeter of a square. I want to know the perimeter of a rectangle. I want to know the perimeter of a triangle. Peri, peri, meta, meta. 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 Perimeter is a total distance around the shell, adding all the length of the size of the shell. The Greek word peri, it means around, and the Greek word meter means to measure. Yes, that's right. We measure around. Now follow this very carefully so you understand. You will know the total length going around the shape. There's a lot of shapes, some of which I will mention. There's a rectangle, triangle, and also the squares. Now look so that you can truly understand. Let me start with showing you the perimeter of this rectangle. The length and the width have already been placed. Now I start adding this up to know the perimeter. The length value is here, and I add it with the width value. I continue and I add the length here, and I continue to add with the final width here. How much is the perimeter? You know the answer already. We got 30 meters! <laughs> yes, that's I right. want to know the perimeter of a square. I want to know the perimeter of a rectangle. I want to know the perimeter of a triangle. Peri, peri, meta, meta. 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 There's no big problem. I'm telling you, my friends. The rules are in place to make it easier. The perimeter of the rectangle is easy to calculate. What are you waiting for? Just multiply by two. Do you know why? <laughs> Let me tell you now. This shape has four sides. Each two sides are the same. With the rectangle, you can calculate the perimeter by adding the length time width and multiply by two. There are a lot of shapes, I mean, lot of shapes. I cannot finish them all. For example, a square. All four sides are the same. So you can take the length of one side and multiply by four. I'm not going to teach you. I know you understand. Yes, we understand. So as you see here, this is our producer. So Modest, can you please tell the children how you take our voices from the studio into the computer? Okay, thank you. Um, my job is to record the, the voice from the old actors. We have the booth there, so the actors and directors uh, sit there and I take the, I record the whole story from the script here. You see, the, you see this one? Then my job is to edit and mix all the audios from the old characters so as the story is going from one point to another. So we take it, the first draft, then I take them to the, to the animation department so they mix the pictures and audio. Hi, I'm Melody and I act the voice of Tiny Tembo. Here now I'm in the studio and this is the microphone so this is how you record. Hi, my name is Melody and I act the voice of Tiny Tembo. So, I love math. I love talking to other children. So please keep on watching Bungo Kids. And when you record, your mouth has to be straight with the microphone so I can pick the voice nicely. And that's how we do it. 
Thank you for watching. Bye. What is mathematics? Mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat your garlic, you count your bites. In a pared, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Count Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length and depth and represent with X, Y and Z. Math is used for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Never miss out on new Ubalgo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubalgo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubalgo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubalgo Kids family.